Hi, hello, welcome. It's Pip Jobman here from Queen Pip Cards and the Card Making Know How membership. Uh, welcome to Stampin' with Friends this month. Uh, this is a hop that I do, a video hop with my friend Katina Martinez over in the US. So please do hop on over and see what she's created once you've watched this one with me. Um, so our theme this month is friendship. And so these two stamp sets immediately came to mind. Uh, this one, because it's got this lovely saying in it, your friendship means everything. And this one because it's, well, it's coffee with friends. So it does what it says on the tin, really. Um, so I've created a few cards. I'm going to share with you a few cards. Then we're going to get to get down and make a couple of cards because there's also another set of papers that I feel really goes well um, with the whole friendship theme. So let me show you a few things that I've done so far. Put these over here. So this was my swap. <coughs> Thinking of friends. Uh, I think of all the people I saw on the incentive trip that I've just been on. So this is the Cheerful Daisies. And then this You Are Much Appreciated comes from Wonderful Thoughts, which is a new um, words only stamp set, which is great. Uh, and I've just created this by stamping the daisies in the background, die cutting out this frame and then adding that daisy on uh, on its own on top. And you can see how textured that is with the extra bit on top. Uh, so that's the first card I made and thought about. Uh, this was my card for my friendship tutorial bundle this month. So if you spend um, anything with me, if you buy any products with me this month, you'll get a tutorial with this and nine other cards from people all over the world um, with, the with the theme of, of friendship. So this again uses those gorgeous cheerful daisies, this time in lemon lolly. Uh, and again, this Your Friendship Means Everything to Me uh, on the front there. So I thought then that I would jump into the crafting, uh, not crafting with friends, coffee with friends. Um, and I made this card. This is with watercolour pencils. Uh, again, with the Fresh as a Daisy papers this time. Let's get together soon. I love that. It'd be great to send to somebody just say I'm thinking of you let's get together have a cup of coffee have a cup of tea in my case <laughs> um, so yeah just a really it's a lovely stamp set that's just very easy to follow the the imagery that that's created for you there so let's get together and have some coffee and let's do that now uh, and create a card together so this one I'm using a basic white base and I'm going to describe these in a little bit more detail because we do have some people watching who are visually impaired. So I've got a white base and then in the Les Shops paper with us, uh, with Stampin' Up! available from Stampin' Up! through me, um, we have these papers that have got all of these different shop fronts um, printed on them. So uh, there is like an arts and craft shop here with a double... Uh, I love it. It's got a double um, aspect, so it's it's got a over the shop flat, and in there you can see that they're obviously crafting because there's like a little easel and there's some paintbrushes in the window. Um, then this shop here has got clothing rails in the windows, so it's obviously a clothing shop. And this shop over here looks like it's got like Chinese lanterns outside, so I'm thinking it's a sushi bar um, with little bowls and little stair. Um, chairs here stools to sit on uh, so that's what I'm thinking that one is uh, and then on this page I was drawn to this one this shop here which has got these beautiful breads and cupcakes and pastries and everything in the window and I thought aha that definitely would go for my um, coffee with friends idea so I've got my base white layer to that I'm adding a flirty flamingo layer and then I've chopped up this paper so that that pastry shop is showing there on the right hand side. Um, the other shops, it doesn't really matter if they're there or not, because we're going to kind of cover them up a little bit with my stamping. So I'm gluing that designer series paper to my Flirty Flamingo base layer. And then we will get on with some stamping. But I love these little shops. I think it's just a great way of making a really quick and easy card because the shops are already printed for you. So you're just having to add a bit of a sentiment or something like that to it. And I'm going to glue that um, 
double layer now down to my card front because I'm not going to add any extra ribbon or anything like that because I want the shop to be seen as a shop so I don't want any ribbon over the top of it like so all right so that's my layer on layer on layer done then I have die cut out a small stitched circle um, in white and now we're, I'm going to stamp this image of the two coffee cups and the two croissant which always makes me hungry when I see it but I think it's just perfect for this so I'm using memento as my base ink memento black I'm going to pop that down just like so there we go so stamped in the middle of that circle and then I'd like to add thinking of you and coffee too. I think I can get and coffee too in there. That's just I'm going to pop that down underneath that uh, coffee cup there. So it's just on the edge there. Um, and the good thing is with a circle, if you go slightly crooked, you can always move it. So that's going to be on the bottom and coffee too at the bottom of that sentiment. This one won't fit on the top of this circle. And I'm going to stamp. Is that going to fit on there? I think so. Uh, so I'm just getting a scrap piece of basic white and we'll stamp the thinking of you on there and I'm going to cut that out by hand. There we go. Give myself a bit more room all round. There we go. It's a bit better. So now I can cut that out and layer that on top. I'm going to colour my coffee. Uh, not uh, like just the little bits where, the, where they've left that little heart, like cappuccino top type top uh, but I'm going to colour my croissants obviously because they need to be brown so this is uh, SU500 which is one of the um, sort of medium tones in the natural colours of the Stampin' Blend so I'm using alcohol markers we're just going to colour the croissants in I thought this was a good croissant colour um, and I'm not being particularly clever with my colouring. I'm just going to do a bit of quick colouring. It's got that kind of yellowy tone in it which the croissant has from all that butter. Yum. I am getting hungry now. Um, so we'll just colour that in, give it, give it a bit of light and shade so it looks a bit more circular. There we go. All right and then I'm going to use crumb cake. I think probably just the light one just to go round the um, sort of the edges of those hearts and just sort of give a little bit of coffee colour. I'm not even going to colour all of it in, I'm just dabbing some of the crumb cake colour into that coffee top. Then I'm going to use my um, light pool party and I'm just going to go around the edge of this. I just want this to sort of sit on an edge and it kind of stick out, stand out a little bit and if you just give it that extra colour around it, it pops it out, helps make it look a bit more 3D, especially when it's just a, an image like this sitting in the middle of a white circle. So just run that pool party all the way around the edge of the image like so, we can go in there and give that a bit of darkness too and it just it just helps to lift that image up off of the paper. There we go. All right, so now hopefully you can see that that's just sort of popped that up a bit. So colouring finished. I'm going to add this to the front of my card. And um, you can see those, the back of the image, the back of that um, die cuts got all the brown sticking through it like seeping through it that's perfectly normal that's what happens when you use alcohol markers they seep through the cardstock come out the other side so there we go we're going to pop some of these dimensionals on the back give it a bit of a lift like a bit of lift and then I'm popping this down here making sure that my two is straight my eyes need me to hold that up so I can see that it's straight. See how that kind of matches there I think with those pastries so I think that that's looking good and then I'll just chop out the thinking of you and I'm just going around with my paper snips 
giving it a little bit of a border not masses I don't want a huge label I had hoped to put it all on the circle but it obviously isn't going to fit all on the circle and then I'm going to glue that to the top of that so glue the thinking of you to the top of the circle there we go but not over the edge because it's going to go over the edge so we'll just leave that loose I know you're thinking oh no soggy middles but I think it'll be all right there we go thinking of you and coffee too next to a pastry shop there we go so that's my first card uh, very quick and easy great to send to a friend who you think let's you know and then inside you could put let's get together soon um, and you could have a go out for a nice coffee together so that's that one I've done some more with the um, this set so here's the lady sitting on the bleachers again just sitting well I mean she could be sitting on deck on a set of stairs or something this time I've left the stairs blank um, and I've just coloured in her trousers top and hair in yellow and blue uh, mounted that uh, that's on a a scalloped rectangle mounted on some of this beautiful masterfully made paper which is all these bits of paper ripped up and then photographed when they've been put back together I think it looks quite good like that just simple I haven't put a sentiment on this one but again it it's evocative of you know coffee with friends uh, and then finally this one I did with uh, two girls sitting on a bench with their backs to us with toasting each other with their coffee cups again I've done the blue and yellow this was um, part of my blends club this month and it says coffee with a friend is like happiness in a cup and then I've added some final yellow and blue sparklies so it's really got some sparkle to it so that's what I made with the coffee with friends I think you'll agree they come out okay they came out quite nice those ones so that's four cards with coffee and friends coffee with friends um, it's a great little set I think I think um, good if you're sending lots of cards to friends who uh, like coffee <laughs> and like getting together for a chat so that's those ones and then I've got one more card just a quick one to show you as well and for this one I was drawn to Zoo Crew the papers I don't have the stamp set but I was drawn to Zoo Crew the papers um, and especially these gorgeous little um, musical animals so we've got a frog with a flute we've got a beaver with a set of but um what are they bongos beaver with bongos and a turtle with a microphone who's obviously singing so i thought i'd love to put that together i love the black and white and the green um even though i'm a pink girl this black and green really sings to me this is like parakeet party or um lemon lime twist and granny apple green all kind of mixed together i love those colors so I've gone with a black base and a parakeet party um, first level, for, like base layer for my cards. Um, and then I took a piece of white, second layer up, and I run it through the, um, um, what is this one called? Melody, I think she says, checking her thingies, her embossing folders. It's been run through with Merry Melody. Yes, Merry Melody. I thought it was Melody, uh, embossing folder, which has got all these notes on it. I thought it was perfect for these animals that are obviously playing instruments and singing. So I'm layering that sheet of white over my parakeet party, which will kind of tone it down a bit because it is a bit bright. <laughs> we love a bit of bright. So pop the music embossed piece over the top of your parakeet party piece. And well, that's going to be a tongue twister and line that up and then I've cut another piece from this zoo crew um, they've got like animals on the front but if you turn it over they've got these lovely black and white images and I thought I'm going to go with this one which looks like sound waves I feel I mean we could do it that way actually maybe it looks better that way yeah so sort of like sound waves I'm kind of thinking so it's got these squiggly lines going all the way through it like 
I don't know, ocean waves or sound waves or whatever. So I'm popping that straight across the middle, like so. So it's horizontal across the middle. This is a landscape card for those of you who are partially sighted out there. So it's landscape. I've put the um, black strip across the middle. And then I'm adding to that with a... Um, I'm going to go with a black strip of the gingham in the middle as well. Gingham ribbon, black and white. Pop that in there. Let's get my stamping seal out. People often say to me, why do you have so many glues? I don't really. I have two main ones. That's my stamping seal and my Tombow, my multi-purpose liquid glue. And multi-purpose liquid glue is used for sticking everything down to the card, which gives me wiggle room because it's liquid and so I can move it around a little bit, make sure it's straight uh, with my astigmatism. And then I use my dry glue, my stamping seal, to attach ribbon because um, wet glue and ribbon really doesn't belong together. Makes an awful mess of your ribbon. So those are the two glues that I actually use most of the time. And then of course my dimensionals just for adding extra lift to your card. Okay, so I'm now adding that, um, that layered piece onto my card base. Doesn't it look gorgeous? Tina's going to love this because she loves a bit of black and white. So she's going to be, she's going to be like, "Pip, I love your card. Well chuffed with that." Um, I'm channeling my inner Tina, making this one. And then we're going to add um, the little animals to that. Now I'm going to glue them. I think I'm going to glue them. No, maybe I'm going to do dimensionals. Let's do dimensionals. But we're going to have to be minis because they're diddy. So. Get my mini dimensionals out. There we go. So I'm popping minis all over the back of the bongos and the beaver with bongos. I think I'll start with him right there in the centre of my card. Yeah, vertically and horizontally central. Right, and then on the back of this turtle, we'll put some more of these. Right, so then we'll put our crooning singer just a little bit higher so he's going up over into the music like so and then the flute player right and then he's going to go here on the left hand side sort of playing along to the guy with the bongos and then for the label um, I've got the words uh, where are they here we go because you're awesome from the what's this circle sayings and I just, I really love that. I think it's just a fabulous thing. Um, or your friendship means everything. Actually, we could do this one. Uh, I wonder which one would fit. Let's do both and we'll see which one we prefer. I like doing that sometimes, just trying out different things, seeing which one you like the best. Uh, let's do that. And that. And I'm going to do them again in Memento because it's all black and white, so Memento is good. Could put it on Parakeet Party if you wanted to, but um, I'm going for the easier, um, just black look. There we go. It's not easier, it's just I haven't brought it out with me. Now, I need my punch, my faithful... <laughs> Um, double oval punch I love this because you're awesome will just fit in there if you're careful so we'll punch that one out there we go. and your friendship means everything won't it'll just again it'll just fit in your single oval like that Actually, I think, since it's a band, I think your friendship means everything. Kind of goes better with it, doesn't it? We'll do a black scallop layering oval for it to sit under. I mean, over, rather. So the black oval will go underneath the, the white. Like that. Love a punch with a crunch. There we go. 
and then that will pop that out a little bit more I think there we go that looks better so your friendship means everything we will double layer this up I think feeling in a very double layery mood today so we'll put dimensionals onto the back of the white and you could use black dimensionals at this point but I always forget but that would look better because then if they look from the top they're not seeing any white they're just seeing black which is much better I'm going to pop that on there make sure it's straight there we go and then we'll dimensional up the actual scalloped oval as well double double whammy with the dimensionals there we go and that's going to just sit under there like that there we go so there's our friends having a bit of a sing-along and you know bongo playing flute playing singing time of their lives <laughs> So that's my final card. So we've done some crafting with you. I mean, coffee with friends, uh, some zoo crew. And then I threw in a little bit of cheerful daisies as well to start off with. So hopefully you've got some of these things at home, which means that you can craft along and uh, make some of the things that you've seen here today. If you haven't, then you can purchase everything from me in my uh, store, links to which are below. Uh, and if you purchase from me today then obviously you'll get the tutorial with all of those um, friends I themed ideas and if you purchase over £50 from me today then you'll get another tutorial bundle with lots of cheerful daisies um, designs and tutorials in so 15 more of those so you get quite a lot of free tutorials when you um, shop with me just for your inspiration and to say thank you for your service uh, thank you for your order rather um it's kind of my service to you so thanks for watching it's pip Tobman here from queenpitcards.com and the card making know-how membership where i show you how to go from a beginner to a confident card maker in four easy stages with my lovely structured learning program community friendship fun and all the things uh, that you might be looking for so don't forget to join me over in the membership and don't forget to comment below and let me know which one's your favorite i'd love to hear from you uh, if not um, if you can't join me here uh, every week for my live stream then i'll see you again same time same place next month for stamping with friends with katina Alrighty, hop on over and see her stuff now take care for now see you soon bye